everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so this is my favorite video to film every month we are a little early this month and i'll explain that so last month i did blindly choosing my tbr for march and i'm going to continue that this month because i want to unwrap these and not have wasted all that paper so i'm going to pick 10 more books to put on my tbr for april and I've got about a week left of March, so then I'll probably just randomly pick them to read for the rest of the month because I am through the TBR that I chose last month. I thought to give myself the best options, the best amount of options for the next month, I would do this first. So books that won't be included are the books you see on the top shelf here. I'll go through them really quickly. These were acquisitions from March. So most of them are book um, box subscriptions. So I'll start into that first. The first book is Happy Place by Emily Henry. This is actually not a purchase. This is my sister's book. We are going to the beach next month, so I will be taking this one with me. So it will be getting read in April, but it will not be part of this video. Next is The Wishing Game. This was one of my book of the months for March. I got to choose two books this month, a new release, one of the options for the month, as well as one of the finalists or the actual book that was chosen for the book of the month, book of the year. That book was Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, and my sister already owns that. So I chose The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. My actual book of the month was A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen, and I am very excited to read this, but I'm trying to get through the books that I've had on my TBR longer first, so that's why I'm excluding these books. I did add One of Us is Next up here because I did read One of Us is Lying in March, so this would be the next book in that series, so this was added to the top in case I wanted to go into it. Next, quickly, the two books I received in my romance reveal box were Friendly Fire by Morgan James and Off the Grid by Kay Bromberg. Um, not a fan of these covers, but they both sound pretty interesting, so I am excited for these as well, but I have a lot of romance down here that's already wrapped. And finally, though I am on a book buying ban, I did buy one book this month that I have earned because if you're new here, my goal for the year is to not buy a book unless I've read five off of my, TB my current TBR until I get my TBR under 35 books. So every five books I read, I can, I earn a book to go buy. And this was one that I technically have earned. So I bought Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I was having a very bad week and I was at a Barnes and Noble killing time. So I did walk out with just one book. So that was this one. All right, so on to the real reason we're all here and that is to pick 10 books for my April TBR. Last month I chose 13 because it's a lucky number and we were doing it for St. Patrick's Day, but this month I am gonna go back down to 10, which is what I normally pick. And that gives me a little bit more leeway. It was more daunting to try to finish 13 books that I chose this month because I don't know why. It was three more books than normal. I read more books than that in a month, but for some reason getting through this TBR was harder. Don't know if it was the amount of books or just the fact that I had no control over what they were, but I made it through. So I'm excited to do this again. So if you didn't see last month's TBR, these are numbered, there are not prompts. These are numbers in here and they correspond with the number that I've written on the wrapping paper here. There are like 20 some books left. 27 books left. Now these are only books that are next in a series or standalone books. I do have like a bookshelf with the rest of the series if I have the whole series or whatever in the other room. So my TBR is still like 60 books. I think around like 58, 60 books. So. I'm hoping this jar does not do me dirty like it did last month. It had me start three new series, I think. Two of them I don't have the next books for. I had only had the first book. And I think there are three more options here for starting a series. There are two continued a series. I would love to get those. Um, but there are three more, I think, in here that would be starting a new series. I'm hoping not to get those. And there are, there is, and there's one Stephen King left on here. And I got every other Stephen King I own except that one last month. So like to maybe have a break from him for a little bit, but we'll see. I don't get to choose. So it's all about what I pull. First number is Can you see? 19. It's a hardback, so that's not a good sign. Hoping for some romances, because I have a lot of like romances down here, but I had a lot of thrillers last month. And now another one. So this is Boys in the Valley by Philip Fricasse. 
The story behind this book is I didn't actually choose to buy it. I got a haul from Book Outlet months ago and I had tried to order Billy Summers by Stephen King, which is the book that is on here that is his, that remains, but they sent me this instead. So I had to buy it again at another point in time, which is fine, but I did not intend to buy this. So give me a second to look at what it's actually about. All right, so this takes place early 20th century in Pennsylvania and it is about like a group of boys in an orphanage and it seems like someone shows up at some point in the middle of the night of like, stories start to get blurred and alliances form and people are starting to end up dead. That's all I got out of the synopsis. So it's a gothic gory Lord of the Flies horror. Readers will be hooked. So I'm not a huge horror reader. Um, I do read Stephen King, which is horror, but this would be, I guess, a new venture for me. So we'll see. I will definitely be reading that one before the beach because that is not a beach book, but I don't think it's very long either. So it shouldn't take too long. So number two is 32. Oh good, I think this is a romance. But I don't want to jinx myself, so. It is not. So this is The Escape Room by Megan Golden, another thriller. So I read two books by Megan Golden last year. One was a book of the month that I purchased and then I realized that it was the second in a series. So I got the first one, read them both, enjoyed them both. So when I saw this on Book Outlet, I picked it up and it's essentially a pretty simple synopsis. It's an escape room turns real. So sounds exciting. I have only done one escape room in my life and it was not a scary one. So we'll see how I feel about this book. Also not a book I will be taking to the beach. So please hoping for something that's a little lighter now that spring's here, but this jar doesn't seem to like me. Number three is 10. I'm pretty sure that's not a romance. It could be, I think there's one book of the month in here that's like a romance. And this is hardback, so we'll see. This, it's the one I thought it was gonna be. So this is This Spells Love by Kate Robb. I got this back in November, yeah. I was like October, November timeframe last year. I was hoping to keep this till the fall, but, cause it seems like a witchy romance, but I'll take what I can get at this point. So it's a woman tries to heal her heartbreak by casting a spell to erase her ex from her past, but wakes up in an alternative reality in which she's lost more than she wished for. And this witty, whimsical friends to lovers save you. I love friends to lovers. So all about that. And hopefully it's not too witchy and it is more just like a fun spring romance. So I got one romance. Let's see what the next seven books come out to be. Book four. 28. I bet you this is Billy Summers. It could be, it's right around the right size, but I don't know. No. Oh. <laughs> Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So this is one of the three series starters I had in here. Granted, this is only a duology. I have read the Shadow and Bone trilogy. So I would just have this in Crooked Kingdom to read. Not a big deal, but I believe this is a heist set in the same world as Shadow and Bone. And I know that a lot of people have liked this better than that trilogy. So I enjoyed that. Did I love it? No, but it was still a solid, fun, like YA fantasy read for me. So I'm hoping I enjoy this duology even more from what I've seen most people do. So I am excited to start this, but again, not really fit for the beach. So I guess I'm going to be doing a lot of reading at the beginning of the month to try to finish these all before I go to the beach. Book five, halfway through, is number 20. A lot of chunky books. Okay, I can't complain too much about this one. It is a romance, but it is the second book that is starting a new series. So this is, I believe, called The Benevolence Trilogy by Lucy Score. There's Pretend You're Mine, Finally Mine, and Protecting What's Mine, I believe are the three titles. 
So pretend your mine is the first one. I don't really know too much about this. I love Lucy's score. I will probably save this one for the beach and maybe take the other ones too, just to see if I can get through them all that week. Seems like a little bit of a grumpy sunshine book. So I'm excited for that, but we'll see. I'll probably enjoy it. It's Lucy's score. All right, things are looking up. Book six. Number 34. Why can't I get any of the skinny ones? Yep, there he is. Billy Summers by Stephen King. I knew this was gonna happen. That's fine. This is more of a mystery thriller, I believe, than horror leaning for him. So I have heard great things about this book. I've heard if you don't typically like horror books and you're interested in Stephen King, that this is a great one to start with. So since I already love him, I'm hoping that this will be just fine. So he's a killer for hire, best in the business, and he'll only do the job if it's a truly bad person. So part war story, part love letter to small town America and the people that live there. So it's a thriller of luck, fate, and love. That's all I really know. The rest of it is very generic thriller stuff. The past is coming back to meet him. He's taken on a new case, all sorts of stuff. So I will have cleared my Stephen King TBR. So I'm gonna have to buy more, I guess, once I'm allowing myself to buy more books. Number seven. Twenty-three. These are like all coming from the bottom shelf. Why all the, <laughs> it's always the thick ones. Like look at the tiny ones here. Getting all the thicker ones. Now they're not gonna breathe. So book seven is A Face Like Glass by Frances Harding. Hardinge? I don't know anything about this book. There's like basically no synopsis on it. I saw it in Ollie's. It was like $3 and it was in the fall. So I was like all about the thrillers, but I think it had a decent rating when I looked it up on Goodreads. So that's exciting. But there's like literally nothing in here for me to be able to tell you what it is because there's, there's nothing on the back except blurbs. So we'll see if I like her book or not. Um, It'd be a new venture for me into this author. Not even really sure what the genre is. Probably thriller or horror based on that uh, cover. So three more left. Book eight is 17. Oh no, I think I know what this is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is Serpent and Dove which would mean I've got all three books that start a new series. Yep. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maher Maherin. Don't know if I said that right. Um, fantasy series, I think romantic series. I don't know much about it. I think The Scarlet Veil came out last year, which is like a continuation of this world but this is the only one I have so far. So I'll have to buy the other two, I guess, if I like it. Which and which Hunter bound in holy matrimony. There was only one way such a story could end, a stake in a match. So sounds interesting. I should have known this drawer was gonna do that to me. All three books that start a new series have been now selected. So unfortunately, none of the ones that continue a series yet. So that's fun. Book nine. Number three. I have no clue what this one is, so. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. Funny though, because it's basically the same book that I just picked up. Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli. This was my book of the month last month. Yeah, February. And it is a witch, witch hunter romance as well, but I've heard great things about this. It will be, I think at least a duology. There's another book coming out. I'm so excited for this one. 
Not thrilled that I have to read two books that are very similar to each other, but I love a good fantasy romance, so I'll probably enjoy them both. All right, one more. And then I think I'm gonna use this to pick the rest of my reads for the month of March. So there may be a vlog that comes out with that. Last is the last one on here, which is number 40. And I'm praying a romance. I've been reading a lot of thrillers this month, so. Of course not. The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. So a journalist uncovers dark secrets of an abandoned boarding school, chilling suspense novel. So it's a boarding school, I guess, where they send like difficult girls and then like jump forward 64 years. A girl's the girl, I guess she must be the journalist is coming back to look at what's going on because 20 years ago, her sister's body was found in the fields around this boarding school. So there's a renovation of the school or a hall in the school that leads to a shocking discovery linked to the loss of her sister. So should be interesting. I've never read any of her books either. I've heard good things about her, but me and the star are not friends, but that's fine. So that leaves me with 17 books left that are wrapped. So I'll probably try to read like three this week and I may do a vlog, like I said, picking them randomly, but we're dwindling it down, which is the good thing. The bad thing is I didn't necessarily get all the books that I would have liked, so let's go through them. The first book I selected was Boys in the Valley by Philip Fercasi. Next was The Escape Room by Megan Golden. This Spells Love by Kate Robb. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Pretend Your Mind by Lucy Score. Billy Summers by Stephen King. A Face Like Glass by Frances Hardinge. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maherin. Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli. And The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. So thanks for watching if you've made it this far. I do enjoy doing it this way because I think it pushes me to like pick up books that I really wouldn't. Um, this past month I had quite a few that really surprised me that I read that I probably wouldn't have picked up had I not done my TBR the way I did. So that was really exciting. Um, I am kind of excited to hopefully be through my Stephen King, my Stephen King backlog so that I can buy more of his books next month. I will be picking up more romances probably towards the end of April when I'm on vacation. I'll probably just be taking my Kindle and maybe a few books because there's a lot of small town romances on the Kindle and then I don't have to really pack some books. So stay tuned for maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do a vlog when I'm on vacation. We'll see. But I am going to probably do one this week picking hopefully three books the same way to unwrap some more of them without wasting this paper and I'll go from there. So thank you for watching if you've made it this far and I will see you in the next video.